Hello and welcome to Long's Toys. It's Throwback Thursday, and today I have a Z-Bots review for you. Uh, for those who might not know, Z-Bots was kind of a line of little robots and vehicles uh, made by Galoob and marketed under the Micro Machines line. Uh, this is from 1993. This is the D-Mobilize 12 Transforming Battle Mobilizer. So... It's just kind of a little vehicle. It comes with a little Z-Bot right here in the window. It is called Swator. Swatter. It says it's an exclusive collector's robot. So if we take a look at the side, you can see some of the features. Where like the sides flip down so it can hold more robots. It's got a rotating gun. And apparently it comes with battle damage stickers. And then here are some of the other Z-Bot little vehicles and robots in the line. So I think those are pretty cool. Same picture on this side. So we will go ahead and get this guy out of the packaging and we'll take a look. Okay, so first we'll be taking a look at Swatter, which is the Z-Bot that comes in this pack. Um, I kind of like the color scheme. It's like a dark blue um, and a kind of yellow with a little bit of hot pink. Um, his torso, if I move this out of the way, is kind of a grayish color. So, I don't know. It looks alright. I like the blue and the yellow with the pink. Uh, you can see here on his chest, and I'll see if I can get a little bit closer here. Um, it's kind of a V-ish, like a V-shape, but it kind of looks like a head of a little bug or something. That was kind of the logo for the, like, villains. The Z-Bots were the good guys, and then the villains. I'm not exactly sure what their name was. Maybe it says on the box... Yes, voids. Z-Bots are robots designed to defend, and voids are robots made to menace. So that's probably why it's kind of V-shaped. Uh, but articulation-wise, I tried. His head doesn't really move, and I don't really want to force it. But the arms can swivel up and down. The legs can swivel independently up and down. Uh, and then actually, which is pretty cool, on the back, these are his wings, and they can rotate up. So he kind of looks like a bug if you think about it because he can have his wings go down and then his wings go up. So I think that's really cool. And like I said, I really like... I like the design of them. The paint job is pretty cool. Uh, but the good thing about Z-Bots was they reused the molds a lot. So you probably see this exact same little robot in a different color scheme somewhere else in the line. But I think he's pretty cool. Okay, and here is the Demobilize 12 itself. I think this thing is pretty cool. There's not a whole lot to it. It's kind of just a plastic vehicle. Uh, it does roll pretty well. Uh, as far as features go, it has this uh, shield here in the front that can flip up. So I guess if you're... I'll bring the Z-Bot in. If he is under here and he starts taking enemy fire, he can flip this up as a shield. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it does have this gun turret. Now I'm going to turn it this way and see if I can still have light. Now it did. this set did come with some stickers, but because they're, this set is 20 years old, the stickers didn't really uh, adhere that well, and I kind of didn't want to ruin anything. So I, just, I put the one on, and then I kind of changed my mind and decided not to put any others on. But it does have this rotating gun turret, and this piece did come separate in the box. You just pop it into this hole. Uh, it does have a little tab right here, and all Z-Bots have holes on their feet. So if you go ahead and pop him on... There you go. So then he can ride around in his turret and fire. Uh, now, the other cool thing about this, I believe this thing is called the Demobilize 12 because it's supposed to hold 12 Z-Bots. Uh, the sides do fold down on both sides, and then this panel folds down. Um, and if you see, there are three pegs on each side. I don't really know how you're going to fit 12 in this thing. I mean, you can easily peg probably three on each of these so that would give you six and then there's two peg holes here on the back or just say two pegs here on the back so i would think six eight maybe nine and ten back here but 
this area back here is not super huge. So it'd be pretty tight fit to cram two in there. But for sake of argument, if you could fit four here, and this is six. Well, I guess that's true. If you could fit four here, and then six, that's ten. Eleven, and then one on here is twelve. So I guess that's true. I guess you could. I think at most you could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think it would be kind of tight to fit two back here. But it is cool. It is cool that they give you all these peg holes and you really could carry quite a few Z-Bots on this thing. I personally, I like this uh, part back here, so I kind of like to fold this back up and just kind of have this as like a, almost like a pickup truck, just kind of hang out off the back. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. But I think for a smaller toy, I think it has a decent number of features. And I think it's got some playability to it. I think it's pretty fun. And if you want to go ahead, like I said, it does come with stickers that it wants you to put all over this thing. And it also has what it calls battle damage stickers. So you could, they kind of look like bullet holes and stuff. You could kind of put them somewhere or like scoring like they took laser fire. So I think that's a pretty neat little feature. I think it's a nice little extra to include. Um, but the, I definitely recommend this set. I don't really know where they don't unfortunately sell Z-Bots anymore, but... I'm sure eBay or yard sales, flea markets, things like that. Um, I had a few when I was a kid, so when I saw this, I got this at an auction, uh, new in the box still, and I got it for a very reasonable price. I was very excited. So I think Z-Bots are a lot of fun. Um, I do think I have some more, like I said, from when I was a kid, so if you guys like Z-Bot videos, let me know in the comments below, and I can do some more on Throwback Thursdays coming up. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to hear from you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please like and share this video. Please make sure you're subscribed. There will be links in the description for my Facebook and Twitter. And I hope you've enjoyed this review of the Micro Machines Z-Bots D Mobilizer 12 with Swatter. And thanks for watching.